Whether you're a casual driver or a die-hard car enthusiast, there's something magical about the way music fills a car's cabin. It's not just about background noise, it's about creating an experience, a soundtrack to your journey, and a feeling that stays with you long after the drive is over. Today, we're discussing a topic every car enthusiast should care about, sound. But not just any sound, the kind that transforms your drive, whether you're cruising down the highway with the windows down or stuck in bumper-to-bumper -bumper city traffic. Great car audio can make even the most mundane drive feel special. Many think car audio upgrades are just about slapping a big speaker in the trunk. But it's not that simple. There's a whole world of components, tuning, and choices that go into building a system that truly impresses. The real debate? Mid-bass speakers versus subwoofers. These two types of speakers play very important roles in your audio experience. Both handle bass, but in totally different ways. Mid-bass speakers bring punch and clarity to the lower mid-range, while subwoofers deliver those deep, floor-shaking lows you can feel in your chest. Imagine your favorite song. The vocals and cymbals are crisp, but what about the bass guitar or the kick drum? That's where low-frequency drivers come in. They add depth and emotion, making your music come alive. Here's where most people get confused. Do you want punchy, chest-thumping bass that makes your heart race? Or the deep rumble that shakes your mirrors and makes the whole car vibrate? Each has its own appeal, and the right choice depends on your taste. Understanding the difference is key to building a system you'll love. It's not just about volume, it's about quality, balance, and how the sound makes you feel every time you turn the key. Too much sub-bass and not enough mid-bass? Your music sounds boomy and hollow, lacking the detail and punch that makes songs exciting. Only mid-bass? You'll miss that cinematic, earth-shaking feel that makes your favorite tracks truly epic. It's all about balance, finding the sweet spot where every note shines. So, let's break down what each component does, their quirks, and how they fit into your car. We'll explore the science, the art, and the passion behind building the perfect car audio system. By the end, you'll know if you crave mid-bass punch, subwoofer rumble, or both. You'll be ready to make informed choices and take your car's sound to the next level. Let's start with the mid-bass speaker, the unsung hero in your car's doors. While most people focus on subwoofers for bass or tweeters for crisp highs, the mid-bass quietly does the heavy lifting shaping the very core of your music experience. Most people don't realize mid-bass is its own category, but it's crucial. It's not just a smaller woofer or a bigger mid-range, it's a dedicated driver with a unique job. Mid-bass drivers handle the 80 to 400 hertz range, the punch zone. This is the frequency range where music gets its energy and drive, where you feel the rhythm in your chest. This is where you feel the kick drum, the body of a cello, or the warmth in a male vocalist's voice. It's the part of the spectrum that gives music its soul and physical presence. Without solid mid-bass, music sounds thin and lifeless. Even the best subwoofer can't make up for a lack of punch in this range, and your favorite tracks lose their impact. Mid-bass speakers are designed for speed and precision, not deep rumbles. They need to react instantly to every beat, delivering tight, controlled bass that doesn't muddy up the mix. They're usually 6.5 or 8 inches fitting right into your factory door spots. This size is perfect for balancing power and accuracy, making them a staple in most car audio setups. Materials like paper, polypropylene, or carbon fiber keep them light and responsive. Each material brings its own character, paper for warmth, polypropylene for durability, and carbon fiber for speed. A strong motor and precise movement give you that tactile, snappy bass. The engineering behind these drivers is all about control and efficiency, so you get clean, punchy sound every time. Tweeters can't hit these notes and subwoofers aren't accurate here. Each speaker has its specialty, but only the mid-bass can truly bridge the gap between the highs and the lows. The mid-bass fills the gap, adding warmth and authority without muddiness. It's the glue that holds your sound together, making everything feel cohesive and natural. It's what makes your system sound full, not just loud. When the mid-bass is dialed in, every drive becomes a concert and every song feels alive. So next time you feel that punch in your music, Thank the mid-bass driver. It's the heartbeat of your car's audio working tirelessly to bring your music to life. It's working hard behind the scenes, hidden away but absolutely essential for a great listening experience. The mid-bass is the secret weapon for a powerful, balanced sound. Don't overlook it. Give it the credit it deserves every time you turn up the volume. Now let's talk about the subwoofer, the star of car audio upgrades. Subwoofers handle the lowest frequencies from 80 down to 20 Hz. 
These are the notes you feel more than hear. Explosions, deep bass lines, the lowest organ notes. Subwoofers are built for power, with big cones and strong magnets to move lots of air. Common sizes? 8, 10, 12, or even 15 inches, much bigger than mid-bass speakers. They need a special enclosure. Sealed for tight bass, ported for boom. Without the right box, even the best sub falls flat. Subwoofers aren't about speed or punch, they're about depth and scale. They make your music feel massive, like a live concert in your car. Smaller speakers can't touch these frequencies. The subwoofer is all about bringing the thunder. It's not subtle, and it's not supposed to be. If you want to feel your music, you need a sub. The subwoofer is the foundation of true bass. It's the specialist for the deepest sounds. Let's see how it stacks up against mid-bass. Put a mid-bass and a subwoofer side-by-side, side and the differences are clear. At first glance, you'll notice the size difference, but there's much more going on beneath the surface. These two types of speakers are designed for very different jobs in your car's audio system. Mid-bass covers 8400 Hz, punch and clarity. It's responsible for the snap of a snare drum, the warmth of a guitar, and the body of vocals. Without a good mid-bass, your music can sound thin and lifeless. Subwoofers handle 2080 Hz, rumble and depth. They bring the thunder, making you feel the kick drum in your chest and adding cinematic impact to every bass drop. Size matters. Mid-bass speakers are compact, fitting indoors. They're designed to blend in seamlessly with your car's interior, often going unnoticed but always making a difference in sound quality. Subwoofers are big and need trunk space. Their enclosures can take up a lot of room, sometimes leaving less space for groceries or luggage. Cost and installation? Mid-bass drivers are affordable and easy to install, often in factory spots. For most cars, upgrading or replacing them is a straightforward process that doesn't require major modifications. Subwoofers require more, a pricey speaker, a custom box, and a powerful amp with heavy wiring. Power needs differ too. You'll need to plan for extra equipment and possibly professional installation. Mid-bass can run off a head unit or small amp. This means less strain on your car's electrical system and a simpler setup overall. Subwoofers demand a dedicated amp, sometimes hundreds of watts or more. That's a lot of power and it can quickly add up in terms of cost and complexity. This can mean upgrading your car's electrical system. Some enthusiasts even add extra batteries or capacitors to keep up with the demand. So it's not just about sound, it's about space, budget, and complexity. Every choice you make affects the rest of your system and your daily driving experience. Mid-bass is efficient and practical. It's the go-to for those who want better sound without sacrificing space or spending a fortune. Subwoofers are power-hungry and take up room. But for bass lovers, that sacrifice is worth it for the deep, immersive sound. Each has its place, but the choice affects your whole setup. Think about how you use your car and what kind of music you love. Know what you're getting into before you choose. Consider installation, cost, and how much space you're willing to give up. The right fit depends on your needs. There's no one-size-fits-all answer. Your priorities matter most. Don't just chase the biggest speaker. Think about your car and your music. Sometimes a balanced system delivers the best experience. The best system is the one that fits your life. Whether you want subtle improvement or earth-shaking bass, make sure it works for you. Let's see when you'd pick one over the other. Your decision shapes your entire listening experience. The decision is more than just sound, it's about how you want to enjoy every drive. So when do you pick mid-bass and when do you go subwoofer? If you love rock, jazz, or acoustic music, mid-bass is your friend, tight, punchy, and authentic. It gives you impact without drowning out the rest of the music. For hip-hop, EDM, or action movie fans, only a subwoofer delivers that deep physical rumble. Mid-bass can't reach those ultra-low notes. If you need your trunk for gear or groceries, stick with upgraded mid-bass in the doors. It's a huge improvement without losing space. Want stealth? Powerful mid-bass drivers in factory spots or under seats keep things hidden but punchy. For those who want to keep their car looking stock, this is the way to go. Your choice depends on your music, your space, and your style. There's no one-size-fits-all answer. Pick what fits your life. Let's see how they work together. The best car audio systems use both mid-bass and subwoofers. They're not rivals, they're a team. A crossover sends the lowest notes to the subwoofer, everything above to the mid-bass. The sub handles the deep rumble. The mid-bass delivers punch and clarity. This division lets each speaker shine. The result? Full, seamless bass from the highest punch to the lowest rumble. Your music feels alive, tight, clear, and powerful. 
The transition is smooth with no gaps or muddiness. The kick drum hits hard and the bass guitar sounds rich. This is the secret to a balanced, immersive system. It's not about more bass, it's about the right bass in the right place. For true audio nirvana, combine both. That's how you get the best of both worlds. Now how do you choose what's right for you? Ready to upgrade? Here's how to choose. Listen to your current system. Is it thin and weak? You need mid-bass, missing deep rumble? You need a subwoofer. On a tight budget or need your trunk? Go for quality mid-bass drivers in your doors. It's the best bang for your buck and a huge upgrade over factory sound. Willing to spend more and lose some trunk space? Add a subwoofer. Even a single 10-inch sub in a small box can transform your music. Want the ultimate? Combine both for clarity, punch, and deep bass. This takes more planning and money, but the results are stunning. Match your upgrade to your needs, space, and budget. The right system is the one that makes you love your music. Don't just follow trends, build what works for you. Let's wrap it up. So, what's the verdict? Mid-bass or subwoofer? There's no single winner. It's about what fits your music, your car, and your life. For most, starting with mid-bass is the smartest move. Clarity, punch, and a huge improvement. If you crave that deep, physical bass, a subwoofer is a must. Just be ready for the cost, space, and installation. The ultimate system blends both for a truly breathtaking sound. The goal? A system that makes you want to take the long way home. Whether it's the punch of mid-bass or the rumble of a sub, it's your choice. Build the system that makes you love every drive. Listen, decide, and create your dream car audio setup. The right sound is the one that moves you. Thanks for joining us on this audio journey.